find anything else to help you figure out what happened to Carly? Well, the most important thing was their copy of the breakup letter on her laptop, so thank you for that. All I did was answer the door and point you toward Carly's computer, so... <laughs> well, you could have slammed said door in my face and made me go get a warrant. That would be my dad. I don't follow. He pretty much refuses to cooperate with law enforcement based on principle. Uh, well, you'd be surprised how many people feel that way. I'm not one of them. I can't wait to hear what amazing clues you've uncovered to point you towards Carly's whereabouts. I don't know about amazing, uh, but the luggage in an upstairs closet does match the suitcase that we found in the trunk of Carly's car. So she was all packed to leave town. And she never made it. You OK? Yeah, um, sorry, I, do you need to uh, look around? No, no, I'm good. I, I should probably get back to the station anyways, you know, catch them up. Do you want me to give Dante your regards? Give Dante my regards? Why? You, you said he saved your life when Franco struck you to the bomb. You're right. I did. I, he did. Painful subject? Kind of. I'm sorry for bringing it back up again. Don't be. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place because of Carly. Well, Dante and I are doing all we can for a positive outcome. Yeah, no, I know. It's just... You should go. They are waiting for you at the station, I'm sure. It was nice to meet you, Lou. Nice to meet you, Nathan. Good luck. Thanks. Forensics came back and the knife we found at the scene. The prints are Franco's and the blood is Carly's. I heard a little about Franco earlier. Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, yeah, he's that. So Commissioner Rogers is going to put together a timeline here. Mm hmm. Hopefully, it's going to help us secure our warrant for his arrest. So here's what we know so far Carly has a lunch planned with Michael and his girlfriend at the Metro Court to tell them about her relationship with Frank. If you don't break up with the mom, this is going to end one way with you getting hurt. And when that happens, Franco, I am finally going to make you pay for what you did to me and the people I love. Michael doesn't take the news well. He and Kiki leave. I'll, I'll make my case again, and, and Michael will see what I see. Carly tells Franco that she wants to catch up with Michael at his father's restaurant. Probably still hate me. Nothing's going to stop me from being with you. Franco watches her step out of the elevator. Wait for me, OK? I'll be back. And according to Carly's letter, she never found Michael. She ran into Sonny instead. At Sonny's restaurant, Sonny confirmed that. So after her conversation with Sonny, she decides to call it Krista Franco. Sonny made me see I was putting my relationship with you ahead of my son. I cannot lose my son over you. My we now have confirmation that the breakup letter was written on Carly's home computer and printed on her home printer. Of course, we both know you didn't write that letter. It was my own composition. And quite creative, if I do say so myself. Really captured your relentlessly self-centered worldview as you heartlessly discarded Franco for being a, how did I put it, a dangerous psychopath? No. One of the last things I said to Franco was that I knew he wasn't like that anymore and that I had faith in him. He's never going to believe that garbage you wrote. Who cares if Franco believes it? He's not my target audience. So Carly didn't want to break up with Franco in person. She was that frightened of him. Apparently, she had every reason to be. It doesn't matter if Franco believes you wrote the letter. The cops will. According to the timestamp, Carly was on her home computer typing the breakup letter at 9 p.m. And she obviously thought that if she left town for a few days, it would give Franco time to calm down. 